Here's a short video on this windmill that I built from scratch. It's uh, 23 feet tall and the fan blade diameter at the top there is 6 feet. I dug the well casing and everything myself and it's actually got a, a piece of 3 quarter inch PVC that goes down in the ground 20 feet uh, and then it goes up into this uh, red well uh, the pump itself and then there's a set of leathers that's hooked on to a piece of all thread that goes up that aluminum square tubing and then hooks onto the gearbox and the gearbox uh, is attached to the uh, shaft and everything through a Lazy Susan uh, three bearing setup that I built and I was going to try to crawl up here real quick and give you a quick view of that If you can see, uh, I got a just a dual set of sprockets and 50 pitch chain goes through here. And then we get this a spin. It's a 454 to 1 uh, gear reduction, and I just kind of come up with that on my own, trying to figure out about how much. I needed for wind speed and so forth but anyway I was hoping the wind was gonna blow a little bit more today but it looks like it's gonna be a nice calm morning but um, this goes round and round and then if you can kind of see this it goes 360 um, on the lazy Susan bearings that I put in here and If I can get this going a little bit. Then down in here is the leathers and the pump casing and everything. And it's got about a six and a half inch stroke on it. And what it does is it pumps water it comes out here goes into that little red box goes through the PVC and then fills this 2500 gallon 2500 gallon tank and then I pump out of this during the summer and water the sweet corn patch with it that way I don't have to use really uh, the the well for the house or anything to uh, water the corn. I don't know if you can see that right now. It's actually making a cycle right through there. Pumping a little bit of water. I've had this about four years now and it works really well and today's the the last day that I'm gonna have this hooked up. So I'm going to take it apart, winterize it, and uh, get everything sealed up for, for winter and then put this back together next spring when it's time to start watering, watering more corn. But there's a, another view of it. Like I said, that's a, a six foot diameter uh, prop on it. and. Uh, it's 23 feet tall from the, the ground up to the, the shaft center. So, thanks for watching.